YouTube Pagan Challenge 2018 letter E. I was going to do essential oils for this one, but I had a little change of plan. I'm doing education slash educate. So in more the regards of self-education, self self-educate on yourself on different aspects of the craft or the path you want to have for yourself. So self-education importantly is finding the information, whether it is through books, through YouTube, DVDs, any source of information articles and all this other stuff but I know that varies for different people depending on where you are and what kind of surrounding that you have whether it's more of an open or like closed kind of thing to talk about or to find resources about so uh, and, and like self-education is like how you interpret that information. And one thing that has popped into my mind is the example that Sammy Valens has put in like two, three of her videos of an exa of the example, Athame, the anathema and a chalice her example is it's through books where you like people learn the athame is masculine and the female is the cup is female and like you go like that with the athame into the chalice it's through books and she's like if you haven't read if you didn't read any books and you were given anathema and a chalice, what would those represent? And it's through books that people learn you it's the like the gender of the tools, how you use them and all that. So that's the example she gives and that's one an example I want to share with you if you haven't already seen the videos that she gives the examples for. In the, in the video. So, pretty sure she's set that example in about two of her videos relating to two different topics, but yeah. So, it's just self-education, self, like, is that the meaning that I have for those two things? So, it's, which leads into, like, the different perspectives. Is that your perspective of those two things? And if do you, like, do you want anathema in your practice? Because, like, is, uh, anathema is pretty much like a knife or, like, a sharp, it's a sharp object. And if you have, like, bad feelings toward a sharp object, do you really want a sharp object on your altar or in your practice? So, it's, like, about perspective on what these things mean to you. So it's educating yourself what could be replaced in, like, if you don't want the athame, what would be, what, what would be that substitute for you? And, like, there's, there will be different views on a lot of things. And, with some of the information that I give you guys, I would like skip over some things because I I choose not to bring astrology or Kabbalah into my craft, like craft or tarot, like education, because to me, I don't connect with those aspects of the tarot, 
like education kind of thing. It's important for other people, but not for me, like, for me, it's something that I don't want in with the information that I have for tarot. So that's just me. So I might omit some some things for you guys, but it will be important for you guys. So it's just your own in like your own conclusion, your your own thoughts on certain things. So like tarot, I don't like I said, I don't bring astrology or Kabbalah in, into it because it's just one extra thing to learn and I have no interest in like at this moment into bringing those two aspects into my practice I don't see it being useful for me where astrology and the Kabbalah could be an important factor for others so like you don't and like you don't and with doing like your self education it's just you learn that you don't have to like own it all you don't have to believe it all you don't have to believe in all the pantheons you don't like you don't have to do everything the book tells you to you can read it you can watch the videos yes it's just what do you gain or not gain from those readings or videos so, so for me, e-education, sub-education in not just your spirit, like your spiritual life, but in other aspects as well. So, happy readings.